Hey guys, welcome back. Hello. Looks I'm like we're Barney. in the same asylum. Detective Carla Valenti. You've come to see Janos, isn't that right? Now we're gonna investigate the, corridor on the, right. the guy who did the killing. Finished. The Kirsten right, case. Another power outage. So six times a day. Not surprising though, with this cold weather. Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. Yep. Remember. Janice's cell is down the second corridor on the right. Okay. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. Okie dokie. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you, Barney. Alright. Thanks, Buckeye. Barney. I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer, there was no doubt about that. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten killings. Bonus card! Alright, let's go see... Janos. What's up, guy? Hello, detectives. I'll wait for you here. Perfect. Thanks. Go inside. So happy. Happy to see us. Oh, there's like symbols on the wall. Sort of spiral drawn hundreds of times on the wall of the cell. Why is he obsessed by this symbol? Don't know. This kind of goes fast, so it's beyond your, to your toes. Hello, I'm like Detective the Carla Valenti of the New York Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if it's all right with you, of course. Uh, Could we talk a little about Kirsten? What really happened in the store? Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, Detective Valenti? Why do you have, why does he have blue I'm over his face? Mad, you know. What I have to say is meaningless. Isn't that right? Uh, not crazy. Maybe you're not sick. Maybe it's that no one has taken the time to really listen to you. A man and a woman. In a laundromat. She's a little overweight. Hispanic looking. Him. He has a knife planted in his eye. How do you know that? Yeah. I was there. I can see through his eyes. The Everyone Tempest? of them says, I'm there. Uh, what happened in the laundromat? A sacrifice. A human sacrifice. The killer and his victim. Who? Who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. He's among us. Invisible. Blue in his He's teeth, everywhere. too. Why are these killings happening? Why must these people die? Oh, the world's not what you think it is. The Orange Clan has secretly running everything. Orange They're Clan? Yes, listening to us all of the time. They record what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They're <laughs> he rhymed. everywhere. How is this connected to the murders? They want ultimate power. They want the answer to the question of life. They want to be eternal. What did you? I, I have to go now, Anton. Thank you for your help. It's already too late. We're all going to die from the cold. Hmm. It'll be the dawn of a new race. The end of humanity. <laughs> the end of humanity. <laughs> He's... he's crazy. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. Everything go all right? I'll walk you to the... Oh, crap. Damn it. This time it looks serious. Uh, it looks to me like our backup electrical generator hasn't kicked in. It'll come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. We'll wait here in the meantime. Well, the cell door's opening. Oh, shit. 
The cell doors. All of the cell doors have been opened. The electrical outage must have screwed up the autolock system. What? You mean the patients are free to leave their cells and nothing? Wait. Don't move. Don't make any noise. We don't want them to locate us here. Just keep cool and we'll wait for the lights to come on. Relax. Man, I would hate to be in this situation. The aid. They got him. I have to move from here or they'll find me too. If I don't breathe more calmly, I'm gonna faint. And then they get me for sure. Oh God, hurry. Find a way out of here. Man, it's really dark. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'll just fix it later. Oh no! I hear one coming! He's getting so close! <laughs> Breeze, Carla! Don't move! Man, his hair is nasty. He's going away. I can keep moving. Okay. So, I'm, I believe this is the right way over here. Is he gone? He's going away. I can keep moving. Cool. Let's go. Let's get away from here. Oh crap. <laughs> Fat guy. Run away, run away, run away. Me out. Oh, thank God you made it out. I don't know what the hell could have happened. The auto lock system opened all of the cell doors. You hurt? Are you sure you're all right? <laughs> no. Great, Barney. <laughs> I feel great. I love playing hide and seek in the dark with a pack of psychopathic killers. <laughs> me too. Cool, we're at the museum. Guess we're gonna go talk to that uh, man I'd barely professor. Seen on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection there could be between the Mayans and what had happened to me, but at that point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense out of the nightmare that my life had become. Hello, uh, I'm a journalist, and I have an appointment with Professor Kiryakin. The professor's waiting for you. All right. There should be a... Yeah, there it is. There's a bonus card right here. All right, let's go talk to that guy. Hopefully he'll help us. Professor Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering <laughs> information for an article I'm writing about he was happy. Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you, young Well, there's a uh, circle what, things um, I thought. What paper did you say Janus you write for guy us again? did on as well. Freelance. Uh, in fact, I'm a freelance journalist. I write articles and sell them to whoever wants to publish them. It's, uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar to me. <laughs> uh, have we met somewhere before? Um, uh, let's joke. Yeah, I get that a lot, huh? I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kuwaknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. Okay. Is it that snake thingy? You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kweknitlan, the serpent with the two heads. One head sees in this reality, the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. Oracles? Uh, other could worlds. you explain this other world? 
or the world beyond our own, the kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. Hmm. Sacrifices. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. I'm right here. This painting, uh, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. Hmm. That's exactly what happened. Uh, How did the ritual sacrifice work? Oh, the oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy. Another person in the crowd. Totally at random. Hmm. This person becomes the executor. The Oracle takes complete control of the Executor, manipulating him from a distance. That's what happened to us. What happened to the Executor after the sacrifice? He went mad. Ex executor? He committed suicide executor. after accomplishing his part of the ritual. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. Hmm. You aren't a journalist, are you? No. Who are you? Well, let's tell them the truth. My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I'd never seen before three times, cutting his arteries, just like you described. Do you mean to say that there is a Mayan oracle still living today? But, but that's completely impossible. I'll show them our forearms. Have you ever seen this symbol before? Oh, it's the symbol of Quagnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing this sacrifice. So, it is true. My God, the Codex was right. Codex? The Codex? What are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. He's sure to recognize you. Come, let's leave here. And I'll tell you all about it. All right, let's go. Thank you for your help, Professor. Well, something's happening. Push him. Man, why is everybody trying to kill us? Uh, looks like the professor is like dying right there. That was pretty cool. There's another car. Oh, he got us. Go, 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 go. Hang on. Backflip. Whoa. Man. Front flip like a boss. Like a boss. Professor! <laughs> we just pushed him. How is he like the codex speaks of dying. the coming of a child? A prophet. The answer to all of life's questions. <laughs> the oracle kills to find the child. 
Man. We were neutral and now we're tense again. It's so horrible. Where are we? <clears throat> it looks like a Mayan. Ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What is there so different about you? What's it doing? The chroma. Chroma? You have the chroma. So that explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. Chroma? The chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. Is that why we're Superman? Why me? Why choose me? Pure chance. The executor is always taken from the crowd. It's a great honor for you to be chosen to serve Courtney Clan. Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. Look we what? will see each other again. In the other world. Dude, you're not gonna kill me. <laughs> Gotta run again. They're not gonna get us, Panther thing. Cause we're Lucas Kane, we're Superman. We're Superman. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Oh no, don't get us. Whoa, that like froze. Lucas. Why Those is Agatha here? The Oracle are searching for a little girl, a perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry, there isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. All right. So I guess that's it for this episode. See you guys next time.